previous video, we learned about a smart garden. But have you ever wanted a smart home? I always did. A home where lights and fans will switch on automatically. You always might forget to switch off the lights or fans or even both. Because, well, I always do. And so, it might even save electricity. And yes, that's what today's video is about. Hello everyone. Welcome to Electronus. This is Aditya and today we will be learning to implement a home automation system with Ordin. So let's have a look at the hardware components quickly. So the hardware components used in this project are the Arduino Uno, a breadboard, some jumper wires, an ultrasonic sensor, a passive buzzer, a single channel relay, a fan, a DHT11 temperature sensor, a photoresistor, some resistors of 1K and LED of any color you wish. So let's have a look at the DHT11 temperature sensor. So DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor consists of a thermistor to measure the temperature and an inbuilt humidity sensor to measure the relative humidity as you can see on the screen. The humidity sensor consists of a moisture holding substrate between two electrodes. So when the moisture holding substrate comes in contact with water vapor, the conductivity increases between the electrodes and the relative humidity is more. Whereas there is less water vapor, the conductivity is less and the relative humidity is low. So the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor consists of three pins. The VCC which goes to 5 volts, the output or the signal pin which goes to any digital port on the Arduino board and ground goes to ground. Now let's have a look at the photoresistor. A photoresistor is a light controlled variable resistor. When it comes in contact with light, the resistance decreases and vice versa. It is used as a light dark activated switch in our program. It is also called a light dependent resistor or LER. So we have learned about the new components. If you wish to learn about the components which are not mentioned in this video, the links will always be there in the description box. Now let's have a look at the software components. So the software or the functioning of the code is divided into three phases which are the automatic doorbell phase, the automatic fans phase and the automatic lights phase. Let's have a look at all three of them. Let's have a look at the code for the automatic doorbell phase now. So this is the exterior of the house code. So the components which will be required are the ultrasonic sensor and the buzzer and the code states that if the distance is less than 30 units then uh, the buzzer should sound at a note and so this will be very beneficial especially during these times as this automatic doorbell will prevent any contact now let's see the interior phases and don't forget to include the temperature sensor library so let's have a look at the temperature sensor code so if the temperature is greater than or equal to 30 that means when it's hot the relay should be high, that means the fan should be high as the fan is controlled through the relay or else it can be low. And the photoresistor code which states that the value of the photoresistor if it's greater than or equal to 130, that means when light is there, then the lights should be off and the photoresistor value is less than or equal to 60, that means when it's dark, the lights should be on. Which means when light is there, the bulbs can be off and when it's dark, the bulbs can be on. Let's closely have a look at the exterior phase, that is the automatic doorbell phase. Let me upload the code. So I've uploaded the code. As you can see, a man is standing in front of the sensor and so the people inside the house have got alerted. They open the door and the man outside goes inside. After the door is closed, the ringing of the bell stops. So this is the interior phase of our project and I'll upload the code and let's see the results then. 
As you can see, the code is uploaded and the fan is rotating now as the temperature sensor over here has detected the temperature above 30 degrees Celsius. Currently, the temperature is 32 degrees Celsius. Now let's have a look at the automatic lights face. This is the photoresistor. I'll cover the photoresistor with my finger. And as you can see, the photoresistor was unable to detect light. The LEDs inside the house were on. After I remove my finger, the photoresistor is able to detect light and so the LEDs are switched off. Let's have a look once again.